Well, hello. Welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. So for that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Leo Love Prediction reading for October 11th through October 17th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Also know this energy can go either way. It could be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space energy as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, loyal, sweet, kind Leo. Show me what's going on with my Leos. My lovable Leo. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my Leo? Show me, spirit guys. Let's see, Leos, what you got going on. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Sun, the Hanged Man, and Eight of Swords. Well, Leo, you leave off you lead off the reading with the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is that card of not feeling like you're good enough for somebody. Not feeling like you're good enough. Um, also not having enough money. Possibly you think you feel that way. Um, feel that things are just not going your way when it comes to a certain circumstance or situation. Now here's the deal. I think that you have been keep going back to the same person. The same person you keep going back to. The same person you want to be with. But I don't know if they necessarily want to be with you. I'm sorry Leos. But this is what I'm seeing. Because five of pentacles means a lack. You have a lack there. You feel like that you lack, you don't, you don't have something that someone else wants and you keep trying to show them that you do have it because a nine of wands means persistent, insistent, um, continuing, um, always showing someone this five of pentacles next to this nine of wands to me means that the universe and, and the spirit guides are saying that there is something that you want or someone that you want, but they don't want to be with you because they feel like you're not good enough or you are not, you're putting out of the universe that you don't feel like you're good enough. And that's why you're not getting your heart's desire or getting what you want. Then you have the sun card. Now the sun card is um, you showing up in your reading. Um, as well, because um, the sun card, excuse me, not you showing up in your reading, forgive me. The sun card is a card of illumination. It is a happy card as well. Um, and I do believe that it's saying that if, in fact, you could get this person, you feel like that you could be happy. You feel like that you could be happy. I'm not saying I think you've been with this person before, but somehow something has not gone right and it's broken. You've broken up or you guys are not together. But the sun card is also a card of illumination. It illuminates the good and the bad in a situation. It shows you the pros and the cons. Um, and this is what this sun card in the middle of your reading is. And I do believe, like I said, you feel in your spirit that you will be unbelievably happy with this person. You're sticking to that too because you're going to keep keep hitting it. You're going to keep trying to get them no matter what. Because that hangman means that you're paused in that. Means that you're staying right there in that pocket. Right there thinking that you can get this person because, like I said, somehow you think that you're not good enough. You're trying to do the things to get there. But you feel like that they bring out the goodness. They bring out everything you. This is a relationship that you really want. But here at the end, um, there's an unhealthy attachment to this relationship. Um, there's an unhealthy attachment with the Eight of Swords. There is something that's keeping you attached to this relationship. I don't know what it is. I'm going to read to try to find out if you give me three to five minutes. Because, see, the Eight of Swords is also always a card that you can walk away from. See, you can always walk away from this person. or uh, But you're like... <clears throat> With this card, she's wrapped up, but she's blindfolded too. You're almost like you don't see what you don't see. Or you don't want to see what the truth is. So give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading for you. Let's see what the spirit guys want you to know. If this is your read, just sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards to see what this unhealthy attachment is to this situation. Let's see what this attachment is to this situation. Five of Pentacles. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Leo? Show me why the Five of Pentacles is here for Leo. 
Yep. I told you, you're trying to manifest them back into your life. You want to manifest this person back into your life. Like I said, they keep telling you, no, you keep beating your head up against the wall, but you want them and you're trying to manifest them into your life. Even though you feel like you're not good enough and you have a lack here, um, it could just be you have um, a lack of money right now, but you still want this person. You're being persistent and insistent. You are, um, they keep, you know, the Nine of Wands, they say, is the Wounded Warrior card. No matter what, they keep hitting you back and they keep telling you no, but you keep coming. You keep coming. You keep being persistent. Let's see why this Nine of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, Ace of Swords. It is the truth, right, Leos? Because... With this nine of wands, you know the truth. They're telling you the truth. There is no black and white. They are telling you exactly what, what, what it's going to take. You know what it's going to take. And you keep coming after them with hopefully with the things you think that is going to make them want to be with you. Let's see why the sun card is here. Show me why the sun card is here for my Leos. Show me why the sun card is here for Leos. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the sun card here for Leos? Ah, uh, Ace of Pentacles, I told you, <laughs> this has been illuminated, I said this, Five of Pentacles means the lack, this is, you're trying to manifest, but this person is like one of those people that you have to have your things in order, you have to have your money in order, and Ace of Pentacles is an abundance of money, so you're trying to manifest, <clears throat> excuse me, the money to keep them, or to get them back. You're trying to manifest this money because this person is somebody that is used to having money. Not that they're a gold digger because I don't think that at all. But I think that they're used to having someone that has their things together because they have their things together. They're on point too. They're not asking you for anything that um, they don't also bring to the table. So let's see why is this hangman here? Why is this hangman here? Show me why the hangman is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the hangman here for my Leos? Yep, I told you. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, guys. You want to be back with this person. Judgment card. Judgment card is my total reunion card. You are trying desperately to get back with someone. And I think that what has happened that you were with them before and you um, were in love with them. You guys were in love. But your money was not up. You didn't have things like they should have been. Not just money, but um, there was not, um, there was not, um, you weren't able to contribute or to see they didn't see a future with you when it came to that um they felt like that you maybe were a little lazy don't get upset with me don't give me a thumbs down but you are now doing things a little bit different to try to get with them you are trying to get back with them because you're trying to show them they're still telling you no though but you're still trying to show them because you want to be back with them um let's see why the eight of swords is here show me spirit guys why is this eight of swords here Show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Show me why the Eight of Swords is here. Ah, uh, look at this. Transformation. The Death card could be a Scorpio person as well. But the Eight of Swords is here because... Uh, remember I said you have an unhealthy attachment to them. But the unhealthy attachment is that... You've got to come out the spirit of black so that you can get to the abundance that you have. So that you and this person can be together. You are trying to transition, transform. You are trying to change. The attachment is that you um, are trying, you are desperately trying to change your situation. Eight of Swords means that you are tied to them, but you are desperately trying to change your situation so that you can get back with them and you guys can be together. Now, let's look at this. Five of Pentacles, like I said, the lack. You feel a lack or you feel like you're not good enough. You're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest them back into your life and you're trying to manifest money. You're trying to manifest getting your stuff together. Your ish was, is out of, was out of order. Nine of Wands, you keep going back to them. You keep telling them. You keep trying to show them. But the Ace of Swords means that you you know that what the truth is. You know exactly what it's going to take to be back with this person. This is a person that you know. This is not a new person. Also, you have the sun card there. The sun card is a card of joy and happiness and love. Um, but it also illuminates the situations. And what I see the illumination is, is that it's money. You've got to get your money right. You've got to get your credit right. You've got to get things right in order to be with this person. This person has their stuff together. And they expect you to have yours together as well. They love you on everything else. But you've got to get your things together. The hangman. 
which means you are stuck right here. You're taking a pause because the judgment means that you want a reunion with them. You want a reunion and you're trying to hold, but you want a reunion with them. Eight of Swords is an unhealthy attachment because you know that you have what you have to do and you're trying to transform and transition. You're trying to transform and transition, but you really love this person. Let's see what the what the angel oracles all have to say. First, transformation. That's what you have to do. You've got to come out of that spirit. If you have been lazy, you know what I'm saying. Don't give me a thumbs down. You've got to transform to be with this person. The death card could have been a Scorpio person too. Just some people that are on the board. Could be anyone. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading.